What's up guys, hope you're doing well today. Uh, Mark here, back with another design video. And uh, today I want to do something a little different to what I normally do. I saw uh, actually Draw with Jazza doing some really cool art challenges recently. Uh, and it was kind of just, I guess the videos kind of push that point that it's not so much about the tools you've got, but it's more about what you know and, and you know the skill set and the hours you put in in practice and stuff rather than the tools. And I thought how that could translate to lettering and, and type a lot as well. A lot of people are always asking and saying, oh, but you know, you have this specific Photoshop brushes or some kind of effect that you're not showing us or actions in Photoshop and all this other stuff. And I guess what I, I decided to do was do some lettering in Microsoft Paint, which I haven't used since probably, I don't know, maybe like 12 years old or something like that. Uh, I was originally thinking, you know, I could draw in here with my tablet, but I know some people would probably say that that's cheating or whatever anyway. So that's why I've put the webcam down there so you guys can see. I'm, I'm going to use a mouse and a keyboard. Well, actually, I don't even think there are any keyboard shortcuts in MS Paint. So it will be literally a mouse for the entire thing. And I want to see if I can come up with some lettering that still looks all right without any of the fancy pens or any special brushes or anything like that. I'm just going to use all the default stuff that exists in Paint. I don't even think you get layers or anything like that. So it'll be interesting to see what I come up with. All right, so let's see. What have Microsoft given us? We have a pencil. Oh, we get a few brushes these days, which is kind of cool. Huh? That's weird. Oh, I see. So you can only it only will go so far before it sort of runs out. That's interesting. Okay, it's like a grainy one. I guess that's kind of interesting. Um, that one runs out as well. Hmm, cool, okay, cool. There's uh, some different brushes, which is actually better than I had been. Oh yeah, the old spray paint tool, oh, I remember that. I remember getting bored in class in, I think primary school or early high school, and uh, seeing how long it would take me to just fill the screen with this, <laughs> this spray paint tool. Oh man, I keep pressing keys thinking that they're gonna do stuff, and they don't. Uh, right, I don't think I'm gonna use that, but you know, cool, cool anyway. Um, Oh yeah, some sort of calligraphy. Square eraser, I wonder if there's a way you can change that. Why is it square? Okay, cool. Got some shapes. Um, guess we could use them for guides, but you can't use layers or anything, so you'd have to erase them manually after. Hmm. Ooh, lightning bolt. That's pretty edgy. Okay, yeah, so line tool, that could be cool, because I could use that as a guide for drawing, and then I would just have to get the get the eraser after and erase between all the letters and stuff, which would be painful, but you know, it's still, that's still pretty all right. Um, and I could make them thinner, that would be, that could be cool. Okay, I can use that for sure. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, let's let's just have a go at this thing, I reckon. Um, I'm gonna use the pencil and just do some rough outlining, I think, and then just sort of come back and tidy it up and just have to erase everything, I guess. But I'm, I'm gonna do, I'll probably do the word practice first because it seems kind of fitting. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, here goes, hey? Um, wow, that feels weird. way too high up, I don't know. Wow, it's so hard to draw a clean line. Okay. Okay, it's not too bad, you know, all things considered, uh, it's not that bad. So I could go from there, maybe I could, uh, do something with this P even, like that. Could be kind of cool. Getting this down. Okay, 
Okay, that's not bad. You know, I'm actually feeling kind of good about this, all, you know, considering it's in paint. I guess I could draw it all over the top now and then go in and erase a bunch of stuff and stuff like that. It might not be too bad. So I guess, can you zoom? You can, you can zoom in. Oh, that's handy. Oh, so that's 100%. So I was already zoomed in, apparently. Okay, this is cool. So the first part is down. Let's... Alright, here goes. Here goes nothing. Oh man. Okay, okay, that's not, that's alright, that's not too bad. Now if I can just kind of find a way to erase a lot of this stuff. You know, this isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Like, obviously, you know, the tools and stuff, Photoshop, you know, it makes life a lot easier, but it doesn't make it, you know, it's not, this isn't impossible, you know, if you were patient enough and this was all you had, you could make it, you could make it work, I guess. Um, you'd probably rip your hair out, but you, you could achieve it, you know, it could be done, which is the, the main thing. Cool, that looks alright, you know, that's not bad. There we go. So that's not looking too bad for the first letter. So now I just have to pretty much rinse and repeat the process, I think. Um, I'm not sure if this part of the video has been at normal speed yet, but I probably will just have to fast forward some of this stuff so that you guys aren't just cringing at this. Yeah, alrighty guys, so I think for now, uh, I think that'll do it for now. I, I could go further, but you know, just looking at the time real quick, it's been, I mean, if I subtract the time I was talking at the start of the video, it's been about 24, 25 minutes all up, um, which is obviously quite a long time for something as, as simple as that, but I, I guess the real point I was trying to prove is, you know, 
it's not so much about the the tools that you've got as it is about just putting in the practice i don't mean to you know i'm not having a go at anyone or like trying to you know slander anyone or anything like that i have the opposite intention i want people to be inspired you know it really is just a matter of you picking up that pen and paper and just practicing every single day and you can let it with pretty much anything uh, anything you want. I mean, you can be anywhere you want, pick up a pencil and a piece of paper when you're bored on the bus or at work or on your lunch breaks. I used to practice on my lunch breaks in the office back in the day when I had a full-time job. And uh, now, fortunately, I get to do hand lettering and illustration as a full-time job for myself because I've you know, put in the, the practice for a couple of years. So anyway, I, I hope you guys found this interesting and useful. If you want to see any other stuff like this or anything you want to see me try and do hand lettering with, by all means, uh, let me know in a comment and I'll, I'll see what I can do. So thank you again, guys. Uh, I've just had a look and I'm, I think I'm at 950 something subscribers already as well, which is crazy. I'm almost at a thousand, which is, yeah, it, I thought it would take me a really long time to reach a thousand subscribers. So thanks so much to everyone who subscribes and gives the videos a, a thumbs up. And I know some of you share them on Twitter and stuff like that. And I do see that and I really appreciate it. So thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day.